What's going on? I just got delivery of my new J-Max snorkel just behind me. I've been waiting two months for it. A bit of a busy Christmas period, but I'm keen to get it unwrapped and fitted to the car. So the kit comes with a bit of hose to connect your snorkel to the airbox, two hose clamps to join it all up, a bit of pinch weld to go around your panel you've cut out, um, instruction template, which is going to be very handy, especially when you're doing it yourself. Air freshener, and of course, a beastie ass snorkel. Well, I'll get the snorkel fitted to the car and see what it looks like. Blank panel here. I'm going to have to get the template, tape it around the quarter panel, and get the tin snips out and just hack away. Once you've got the template on, cut around the outside of it with a Stanley knife, scratching into the paint. A little bit shaky, had a few beers last night, so it's good and bad. So just draw a 10mm line inside that razor blade cut. So it's basically a rough cut and then you can go along on the razor blade to make a neat cut later on. Well, after this there is no going back. <laughs> so pre-drill and then go up to about a 13 to start the tin snips off. As you can see that rough cut's done, all the material's out. Now I'm just gonna go along the razor cut to make a neat finishing one. So I don't have a little uh, I don't have a little paintbrush, so I basically just put in the spray paint inside the lid and I just got a um, a cotton bud and I just roll that around the edge of the car just like that. And it seems to work fine. It saves buying something. So there's basically a 10 mil nut under here holding this plastic intake on. So it's a bit of a bastard of a spot, but you gotta get that off to take out this bit of plastic here to run the poly straight into the box. Now it's time to put the pinch weld around the cut. So I'm up to stage, the pinch weld's on. I've taken out the air box so I can feed the uh, poly pipe through with the hose clamps. So the easiest way is if you mount the flexible pipe on the air box and then push the air box and the pipe through your hole and have it out this side. And get ready, because it is a bit of a pain in the ass. Everything's in the road. But the next step will be fit the snorkel into this hole and get the Pop rivets up the top. The fuck. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. It was right around this moment here that I realized the snorkel was not gonna fit and my brain was getting fried thinking, have I done something wrong? Is it the wrong template? 
what have I stuffed up because I first blame myself thinking it was me. And got onto the manufacturer, they said that the snorkel was incorrect, the cutout is correct. So here we are again, we got the right snorkel and we'll give it another go. So I've just placed a little bit of electrical tape on the inside of the door just so I can mark up without scratching the paint on the panel there. So I'm pretty much up to one of the last steps. I've got to drill out this pillar and then rivet these in and then hopefully it all comes up nice. Well, it is a very snug fit. All right, the snorkel's all done. It's been installed. Uh, I'd tackle it yourself if you're thinking about getting a stainless snorkel. You'll need a few tools, which is here. Car's going past, sorry about that. Um, tin snips, drill bits, drill, not much else. It's pretty simple install, just need a bit of patience. And I'm pretty happy with the way it's come up. 